Okay guys, welcome back to the shop. And as you can see, we have the new high aspect wings. So this is the whole fleet right now. Currently there's three of them. At some point there'll be more, but right now this is what we got. We have an 1150, a 915, and an 800. And so by size, what I'm referring to is the wingspan. So from tip to tip, those are the sizes in millimeters. And again, if you, if you don't already know, this is all about building your own foil. So these are the cores that you can build up, whether you choose to use glass or carbon, that's up to you. These can be put on, I hopefully, any frame you have. We have these kind of wide mounting slots here, which most hydrofoil fuselages will fit in. And again, the fuselages I offer obviously fit in there as well. If you get them with the frame that I offer, they will have holes drilled in there to match the inserts for the bolts to go through. Um, if you're just getting them on their own, they come just like this, so no holes involved. So depending on what fuselage you have, you can drill out holes accordingly so that you can bolt it to your fuselage. And this little hole right here that you see is just for machining purposes really I mean you can fill it in if you want but I mean it really doesn't doesn't have an effect at all and you might notice the little 800 has a little bit of a bump sticking out here and that's to accommodate the fuselage uh, the cord here gets pretty skinny so we need a little bit of a tab here just to get just so you have room for those bolts to come through otherwise it was too short without it so in terms of high aspect we're obviously long and skinny that's what high aspect is and we're also getting pretty thin you can see these foil sections are quite quite thin especially down at the tips they get really thin and the trailing edge is razor thin and that's why the bottom of all these wings come with a skin coat of fiberglass it's just one layer of four ounce glass and once the bottom side is milled um, this skin coat is applied and then we're able to flip it over mount it onto our jig and mill the top side and that glass stabilizes the trailing edge and allows it to get down to literally a millimeter thick so we get that nice shape in there and that's what makes high aspect wings really great is they're very efficient not a lot of drag on them and also to maximize that lift they're is some slight anhedral here you can see it especially more towards the tips i designed these tips to i designed the wing to be relatively flat in the center and then it uh, definitely picks up towards the tips and that's to maximize that lifting surface uh, i know a while back the trend was a lot of anhedral and yes that has some benefits as far as stability goes but it also does limit the actual surface area, uh, giving you some lift. And so flatter is the trend these days, so that's incorporated there. And to complement the new high aspect wings, we have some relatively high aspect stabilizers. Again, nice and thin, nice and skinny. And these have some very slight dihedral on them. So the wingtips are curving upwards. It's very slight. You can you can notice it once it's built and mounted onto a fuselage, but uh, yeah, so we have some anhedral on the wings, some dihedral on the stabilizers. I've seen a combination of both over the whole years. It's really um, kind of changes year to year, uh, brand to brand. But um, so that's what we're going with here. And so we already went over the wingspan, which is pretty straightforward, but more so what determines how the wing's gonna feel is the surface area of the bottom side of the wing. So with the largest wing here, we are at 1620 centimeters squared. So obviously this is going to produce the most lift at the slowest speed. And then working towards the middle, we're at 1280 centimeters squared and then lastly with the smallest wing we are at 886 centimeters squared so pretty quick really the main characteristic that you'll notice from wing size to wing size 
is the ability to turn. Uh, with the larger wing, there's a lot more span there. So rolling it over is going to be a bit slower than say going with the smallest wing here, which will roll a bit quicker. So there's a lot faster turns, more maneuverable with the smaller wings than there is with the larger wings. But again, once you, the smaller you get, the faster you have to go. So, you know, there's a trade off there. Okay, well that's just about it. I just wanted to quickly show you guys the new wings. I'm very happy about them. Uh, it took a decent amount of work to get them designed and to come up with that fiberglass on the bottom to get those trailing edges really pristine. But yeah, so we're cranking these out every day and they just really kickstart the build process because really the wing is, is the hard shape to get in a foil. The, all the other stuff is kind of relatively straightforward. Uh, as far as the frame goes, the wings are the hard part, and just being able to cut them out on the CNC is a, is a huge advantage.